the story of the first alien movie introduced us to a crew aboard the Nostromo. Coming back from a routine mission, their ship picks up a signal from the planet LV-426. Per company orders, the ship has gone off course in search of the signal. When the crew awakens from hypersleep, they expect to be close to home, but they are not. They learn that they are far from their families and loved ones. Not only that, but the ship's AI mainframe brought them to LV-426. It was in the company's best interest to investigate any possible extraterrestrial life forms, and since the Nostromo was nearby, they were chosen for this mission. As the story unfolds, Ash, the science officer, was actually an android sent by the company. He was to watch over the actions of the crew and report back to Whale Yutani. When a team was sent out to the planet to uncover the source of the signal, they encountered an alien life form. It infected one of the crew members and would later burst from its chest. The unknown life form was small during birth, but would later grow larger than a human. Ash was secretly ordered to follow Special Order 937, Priority 1, ensure return of organism for analysis, all other considerations secondary, crew expendable. When Ash tried to attack Ripley, he was subdued by other crew members. His body was then destroyed, and the crew was left on their own. By the end of the story, Ripley was the last remaining survivor of the Nostromo. She then escaped in the emergency shuttle and was left drifting through space. While the story ended here, Ash was mentioned in other sources. There was an audiobook and a novel with the story that took place between the two movies. Alien Out of the Shadows is about a crew aboard the Marion. They come across Ripley's shuttle and wake her up, along with her cat Jones, only for her to find out that aliens are on the planet LV-178 and the mining vessel, which is in orbit. Ripley is taken back to the Narcissus, which is the shuttle she was found in, but when she tries to get information from the shuttle's log, she is locked out from everything. It's later revealed that Ash uploaded his AI consciousness inside the Narcissus. He continues to obey Special Order 937. He later infects the Marion, attempting to acquire more alien specimens, but at the cost of losing human lives. The crew plans to escape in Ripley's shuttle by taking turns in a single hypersleep pod every six months. It's the only way to survive before passing away from old age. As the team tries to plan their escape, their efforts are delayed when Ash takes control of everything, but he is finally wiped from the mainframe with a powerful computer virus. Ripley ends up getting injured and placed in a med pod to treat her wounds. She also requests to have her memory wiped of recent events. As a last resort before he was terminated, Ash sabotaged the shuttle's automatic docking release. The only way to close it is from within the Marion. This is when Hoop steps into the Marion to launch Ripley's shuttle into space. When she wakes up, she will not remember what happened. Ripley would continue drifting into space until the events of Aliens, the second movie. But that's not the last time the android Ash was mentioned. During the comic book and novel story of Aliens The Female War, also known as Aliens Earth War, a synthetic clone of Ripley is brought into the story. She learns that Will Newtani knew all along about the alien creature. Kane's helmet had recorded everything. Even when the company denied everything, it was all a lie. The suits they wore had built-in recording devices. The Nostromo's android Ash had dumped the data into the escape pod's computer. This happened long before he attacked Ripley, so Willy Nutani already knew what happened. The story of this Ripley took place after the second movie Aliens, but they still had some information of Ash. The rest of the story is related to going back to Acheron, also known as LV-426. I will leave a link to that video if you want to see that story. The character Ash did get mentioned in other sources, but it was minor parts in the script, which did not really impact the story at all. So that covers what happened to Ash after Alien. Did you like how his story was extended after the first Alien movie? Tell me in the comments section. If you want to see more videos around the Alien universe, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, or Ask Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.